Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Uh, I mentioned uh, when I did the uh, video on the my Pathfinder uh, cooks bottle bag cook set uh, setup that uh, I was working on a separate one that I uh, cook kit that using a, a Chinese knockoff of the bottle bags, and um, so uh, and I said I was still a work in progress, which it is, but. I decided uh, since I kind of had everything all set up, <clears throat> the camera and all, I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, put uh, what I have so far with this kit. Also, I wanted to, to mention, I mentioned I was going to do a comparison on size, you know, so um, we talk about, you know, value. So anyway, um, here's the, the Chinese one. You can find these on, I believe, eBay. That's where I bought it off of. There are several different vendors of it. Uh, and you can get it in several different colors, and uh, it, they're, they run about uh, 10 bucks. And I don't remember shipping or not. It's, it's been a while since I bought this one, but you can, you know, that stuff changes. So, giving you price and things like that is probably really not that <laughs> practical considering things change. But anyway, um, so for, for right now, I'll just uh, show you this one. It's a work in progress, and also to show you a comparison in the two. I don't know if I'll make this a comparison, say it's a comparison video or, or what in the, uh, in the description. But anyway, as you can see, I mentioned right off the bat that the pockets are a lot different in size. So you can see that, yeah, this one's about three inches taller. I think uh, thickness there, this one is about the same or, or maybe a little bit thicker. They all got, you know, it's got molly on it. It's got some Velcro, just has a lot more molly straps. The, uh, I, think, I believe the nylon feels a lot better. This has a much better grade than nylon. I know one, this is the, one of the newer kits. The original Pathfinders, there was a real problem with getting the cup out because it was kind of tight. I think it was built on the, was it the Maxpedition? I can't remember, uh, bag. And uh, they were all snug. So when uh, Pathfinder redid this, they, they made it much bigger. So this, this is plenty roomy. This is probably more closer to the uh, original size ones, or probably might even be a little bit smaller. So, anyway, you can see uh, height-wise, this one's a lot taller. This pocket's a lot bigger. I think uh, they both, uh, you know, Pathfinder and this one both both have the Molly straps and uh, and the uh, and the hooks here. This one has an extra little clip here if you wanted to uh, hook it onto something. Uh, this one does not come with a shoulder strap. This shoulder strap I have here, I uh, took off of an old uh, book bag or something that was laying around the house, so I just got this temporarily. Uh, eventually what I want to do is I'm going to use the buckles from this, and I want to weave a uh, shoulder strap out of paracord. So just kind of around the survival thing. One of the, uh, the other reasons I went with the uh, Pathfinder is it does come with the shoulder strap and, and um, and little shoulder pad which is which is a nice touch so anyway I'll uh, since I'm here I'll just kind of go over what I got so far with this kit uh, one of the things I decided to do with this kit is uh, try to be more economical try to get by a little bit cheaper than with this kit here since I already have this one this is the high-end kit I'm making this one just just more for fun than anything else and to kind of do a little bit cheaper, that's why I haven't really quite finished it up. Like I say this is uh, repurposed, which is always good. And uh, I'll just go on the inside, what I got so far. Uh, I've got, uh, right now I just stuck a regular Nalgene water bottle in there. But the, uh, the one that comes, the stainless steel bottle, also fits in here quite nicely. With I got a little bit of room left, but... Uh, anyway, so that, that's a start, and inside right now I have a, uh, stainless steel pot, I think, I think I paid 10 or 11 bucks, uh, make sure I'm in, in frame, <laughs> uh, from, uh, online, at, uh, from eBay, it's stainless steel, it's, uh, it's, it's at least a two cup. 500 milliliters to here. There's 16 ounces to, to here, so it's a, it's a good size cup, and it came with a lid. So it, like I said, it. So this will be the pot for the kit. 
and like I said, it's uh, it wasn't very expensive. I say I'm trying to do this one a little, a little more economical. Uh, one thing I saw later on, you know, I was watching. I told you I watch these videos. One guy, he bought like the five dollar stainless steel cup from like Walmart, and then he found out the uh, the Stanley stainless steel cook kit nests in this beautifully, and the and the lid for the uh, this. The lid from the Stanley will also fit on here. So actually, and I already have a Stanley kit, I, so I should have bought If I'd have seen that first, I wouldn't have bought this, but too late now. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I got in there right now. Currently in the pocket, what I've got is, is I uh, have some matches and some, uh, oh shoot, what are they called? Those little fire starters that uh, if you want for wood fire, I'm gonna make this you know a uh, very so yeah these are the the oh shoot can't remember what they're called I bought a whole bag of them and let me see I got a little spoon in here a plastic spoon uh, I have a stove now this is the uh, they call it the uh, sealable container. Uh, wood stove. I got a, I got a separate video on this alone. Uh, this is a, a little sealable uh, aluminum container. I think they're designed for storing your bud, if you know what that is. Uh, but I thought it'd make a stove, and sure enough, I rolled up some uh, wood felt in there. And I wanted something like with the uh, my Pathfinder kit over here, uh, the Trangia. Um, some I could store fuel in, so I didn't have to carry, you know, enough for a couple of cups of uh, coffee, but not, you know, store fuel in there, so I wouldn't have to carry a separate fuel bottle. And also, I this they don't come with a, uh, a an O-ring. I had to buy this at the hardware store, which is, you know, no big deal. So anyway, so this is the uh, my stove for the kit. Okay, and. Uh, one other little thing is here. I have this clothespin, and <laughs> I have the clothespin in here, and you'll see that if you watch my video on this stove. Uh, mostly, after the to snuff the stove, I can grab the <laughs> grab the lid, and uh, can you see that? Hold on, not. sometimes I don't get out of I get out of frame sometimes. Anyway, so I can uh, that. Plus, you can use the clothespin for a zillion other things. So, anyway, now to uh, for a pot stand, I went ahead and I found this uh, portable wood stove. It's a stainless steel. I found it uh, on eBay. Uh, this is the uh, Lexata, which uh, you know some of you might be aware of. Folds flat, so it would fit in the front pocket here. And uh, I actually tested this out. And it does uh, works just fine for the uh, wood stove. Oops, I'll bore you with while I set this thing up. Let's see here. I can do this right. There we go. Real, real thin aluminum. I'm not sure, uh, or not aluminum, stainless steel. Now, I'm not sure if I burn wood in this if it's going to warp. Oops, that came out. Darn it! Let me get there. Ah, get in there. Being a little stubborn here. Anyway, uh. I'm not sure if I actually build a fire in here, it'll warp or not, since it, like I say, it's pretty thin, but uh, I don't know, it wasn't very expensive either. I, I can't remember what it was, uh, but I, again, I bought it on eBay. But anyway, I did test it out. The uh, The alcohol stove fits in here, That's so I got dual purpose. I can use this uh, to, to burn wood to boil water, or I can use this little alcohol stove, and you can see this pot fits on here perfectly. So here, there's the, I can boil some, uh, 
meals or anything else on it. So that's uh, oops, bang bang. So that's this this little kit cook kit so far. Um, eventually, I don't know what else I'll throw in it. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to do a little on the cheap side. I'm, I'd, I'd like to find a stainless steel bottle, but I've been hitting the uh, the Goodwill stores. Uh, I don't know. I see a lot of videos out there. Guys finding some really cool stuff in the uh, in the you know the secondhand Goodwill stores, and I'm just thinking, man, where are those guys at? I don't see any of that stuff. Of course, I think you have to go there quite a bit. You know, just hit it on the day that that somebody brings something good in. But the last couple of times I've been in, they haven't had any any real good stainless steel containers that I could use uh, in this cook set. So. Anyway, that's uh, like I said. This this one is just a work in progress, but I thought I'd just go ahead and uh, show it today, mostly because I wanted to compare the two kits from when I talked about my previous videos. So, anyway, uh, oops, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.